Okay, Zane. So you guys, uh, you've won eight out of the last ten NCAA wrestling championships. Penn State has. I guess I don't. That's I don't pretty know what good. Is. is that what it is? Yeah, 2009 Iowa won, and then I think 15 Ohio State. Yep. You've won all the other ones. Okay. That's yeah. pretty good, right? I'm glad that I got to tell you that you don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but you know, you look at your dominance this year. Um, Hodge Trophy. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Okay. And then you, you had such a dominant year. What do you think, uh, you know, wrestling this NCAA season? And then, what well, you know, Jason gets hurt. Yeah. Right? Jason gets hurt mid-season, you know, not end of the season, right? Yeah, towards the end. It's, so that that's a scary thing. But you guys didn't wrestle a whole lot of guys in the open and the freestyle stuff. What do you guys think that grinding season, demanding on your body, why do you guys do that? Why did we? Why are we not wrestling freestyle? Yeah, right why not as much freestyle for you guys? Uh, I can't really speak for the rest of the guys that aren't. Uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot of training. It's competitive in our room, twenty four seven. You know, guys are in there. Uh, for me, I just kind of wanted to. Uh, I don't know. People were asking me if I was worn down, if I was like burnt out mentally or something. It wasn't any of that really. Uh, like, I my body felt great. I could have competed this this spring. Uh, just kind of wanted to. I don't know, learn a little bit this summer. I think when you're in competition mindset all the time, you kind of just making sure, like focusing on feeling good and feeling good at weight, like those kind of things. And you put less emphasis on uh, technique. So may maybe a little bit. So that's kind of what my summer w wants to be like is, you know, learning stuff, trying new stuff in the room. I'm still training. Uh, all the guys too that aren't competing, they're still in the room training as much as they would be if they were competing. We're just, you know, I guess competing in rec hall versus out there on the mat right now. How's your body feel? You know, speaking of that, feeling yeah. good, that's, you know, kind of your focus. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah, I mean, uh, the next next focus for me is getting down to weight. So um, it'll be 143 and a half. And last year it was easy to make because it was like same day or day before weigh-in. Now it's same day. So um, I'm used to same day being at 149. So I'll just shrink a few pounds that's the goal going forward shouldn't be too bad how bad is it going to be for those guys they're used to 24 hour weigh-ins you know all the yeah. foreigners are used to that you you weighed in I, I calculated one year it's 18 to 23 weigh-ins if you wrestle a whole college season with all the okay. dual meets tournaments two days big 10 yeah three days at the you know the ncas Nationals. but the, you guys weigh in more in a season than some mma guys do in a career think about that okay right yeah. that's pretty wild right yeah. and you weigh in more in one season than a russian guy weighs in in three or four years yeah so how much of an advantage is it for you zane to be able to go to those freestyle competitions and be same day land? yeah i mean we're americans are used to that i guess uh and it's even more competitive because i guess we're rest we're weighing in and we're we're wrestling too like on a on a short you know January, the Big Ten schedule, it's Friday, Sunday, Friday, Sunday, all the time. So I think that's a huge advantage we already have going forward. We got to use that. Uh, I like I like it. I'm a fan of it, the whole two-day format. Just an adjustment. Okay, after wrestling, you know, life after wrestling. We were actually talking produce and farming today. Yeah. Doesn't that sound like that's what's going to be for you? But, you know, <laughs> do you look past the career? Do you look past this next cycle of Japan? Yeah. Then into 2024? You know, what do you do? after competitions over for Zen Rutherford? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I want, I'd like to coach someday. That definitely, that's in my sights. Um, someday I'd like to have a garden. We were talking about farming earlier, but my, my parents have a big produce stand and they, they sell right at our house in, in Benton, uh, Pennsylvania. So not something, I wouldn't want to sell myself, but I could see myself having a garden and maybe coaching someday. Uh, we'll see. Right now my full focus um, is is the Olympics and you know training for 2020 but I don't know after that is kind of all I don't look too far ahead kind of basic stuff that I want that's about it okay give them back the kids you just mm -hmm. signed autographs for a half hour 40 minutes yeah what's that like giving back the kids you know you told me some crazy stuff you signed a yeah. cowboy hat today yeah a goldfish a little tiny goldfish yeah but you know like uh, what's it like giving back to kids and, and having a line like that and, and waiting 40 minutes and signing autographs if you can and giving back to the sport of wrestling what's that like for you no it's it's awesome uh i remember lining up in the line being one of those guys waiting for uh, dan gable to sign something of mine when i was their age so uh and i i think i still have that at my house somewhere uh in Ben in benton probably up in their attic somewhere but i kept that all through high school i had it was like a little piece of mat, res light mat that uh, Dan Gable would sign. 
So I think it's cool. Hopefully they, um, you know, kind of get something out of this camp. Um, and you know, my goal is every time I'm at this camp is to teach them maybe one thing that they can actually use in their wrestling. I think that's more valuable than anything. And, and you know, uh, I don't know, life, lifestyle kind of questions too. You know, guys ask me about like how I make weight, um, my diet, stuff like that. I like, like kind of helping them, um, you know, kind of set some goals and reach them, even though I only see them for one day out of the year. All right, man. Well, you got some camps and travel to do here. You got anything else for me? No. Thanks for doing this. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Same. Thanks for the time. Flying Guala at the heart of, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go start drilling it. Good stuff. And good yeah. luck to you moving forward, man. Thanks. Thanks.